everyone. I'm Chamath Goda, CSAT faculty at Insights. I welcome you to the CSAT series, question of the day 90. If a six digit number is formed by repeating a three digit number, okay, example is also shown here. Three digit numbers, 245, 245. If you repeat, it becomes a six digit number, 786, 786, 123, 123. These kind of numbers is always divisible by which of these numbers? This is a very standard question. Look here now. Let's assume the number as x, y, z and also repeating x, y, z. Where x, y, z, x, y, z are the digits. This z is the unit digit here. This is at tens place. This is at hundreds place. This is at thousands place. This is at ten thousands place. This is at one lakh place. Isn't it? Okay. Now, if I split this one, this can be written in the form of unit tens, hundred, thousand, ten thousand, <coughs> lakh. X into lakh plus y into 10,000 plus z into 1,000 plus x into 100 plus y into 10 plus z into 1. Okay. These are called the place values. You need tens, 100,000, 10,000 and lakh. Okay. See, if I take common x here, this is nothing but x, 1 lakh and this is x, 100. If I take common x here, this is 1 lakh. And this is 100. So this becomes 1 lakh and 100. And if I take y common similarly, this is 10,000 and this is 10. So this becomes 10,000 and 10. Similarly, z, this becomes 1,000 and 1, that is 1,001. See, in all these three, this is nothing but 1,001 into 100. This is 1,001 into 10. This is 1,001. If I take 1001 common here, so this becomes x into 100 plus y into 10 plus z into 1 or z itself. Okay. Any such number x, y, z, x, y, z. Okay. Six digit number formed by re repeating three digits can be written in this form. 1001 times of x into 100 plus y into 10 plus z where x, y are the digits something like 245, 245. If this whole number is a multiple of 1001, then this number has to get divided by what? 1001 only. Isn't it? The answer is 1001. Similarly now, if two digit numbers are repeated and formed a four digit number, then this number is completely divisible by always 101. 101. Similarly, if it is a eight digit number, for example, W X Y Z, W X Y Z. Okay, this is a eight-digit number formed by repeating four-digit twice or repeating. This is always divisible by one triple zero one, and this continues. And this is the bouncer of yesterday. This question was: two trains leaves New Delhi at the same time. One travels north at sixty kilometer per hour, and the other at other travels south at forty kilometers per hour. Look here now. Let's say this is the point. This is the New Delhi. Okay. A train is moving north and another train is moving south. A north moving train is moving at 60 kilometers per hour. Means after one hour, it has traveled 60 kilometers and the time is one hour. Simultaneously, another train is moving here. It can travel 40 kilometers in one hour. So, in one hour, this whole distance is nothing but 100 kilometers. And the question is, to get 150 kilometer apart, what is the time taken? In next half an hour, in next half an hour, it will travel, okay, this is half an hour, it will travel 30 kilometers because 60 kilometers in one hour means next half an hour, 30 kilometers. Similarly, this train in next half an hour, time will be same for everyone. Okay. Time will be same for everyone here. 40 kilometers in one hour, in half an hour, 20. 
So this is 30 here, this is 20. So totally this becomes 150 kilometers. After how many hours? One hour and a half an hour. One and a half is nothing but what? Three by two can also be written as one one by two. And this is the bouncer of today. Try to solve this question and leave the answer in the comment section below. Thank you. We'll see you in the next video.